I remember the excitement in the air that night. People came to Pearl Roundabout to once again voice their demands. A new constitution, more political involvement, and basic civil liberties. It was a peaceful assembly. This time, our voices would be heard. We didn't know how many protesters to expect, but the crowd grew to thousands. The atmosphere was electric, as if the fear and repression of decades was exiting our bodies and floating into the night air. It was a breath of oxygen after years of drowning. The first canisters of tear gas hit the crowd. And then men, women, and children began coughing, choking. Gunshots ripped through the air. Police swarmed with shotguns and clubs. Anyone too slow was beaten. Medics trying to assist protesters were attacked. Men and women lay wounded and dead in the streets. Soon after the protests, armed police came to our house. They beat my father, a renowned human rights defender, unconscious, dragged him away to prison and tortured him. My father was given a life sentence, and in an act of defiance, he went on a hunger strike for 110 days which nearly cost him his life. On September 4th, 2012, his life sentence was upheld. My sister Zainab has been shot, arrested, beaten, and detained. I've witnessed too many times how our government treats its citizens for exercising what should be basic rights. What began as a peaceful protest ended in bloodshed, severe torture, and death. The people of Bahrain have been abandoned by the Arabs, forsaken by the West, and forgotten by the world. But my family, like the people of Bahrain, will continue to fight. We have taken it upon ourselves to expose the injustice in Bahrain until we have a system that protects human rights.